Mr. Brown Monster. It's not really a rally car, it's got no number on it. It's my street car I'm going to be taking out onto the track. Hopefully they'll allow me to race with them. Mr. Brown Monster is pretty much a new wheel drive car. He's a very heavy car. So I hope the little guys here with their lightweight vehicles are going to give me some respect. I bet some Mr. Brown Monster does not have many sponsors. Apparently, he wasn't capable of running many sponsors. But the only decals that look like sponsors on them is the label Brown Monster on the tail of them. There is also a brown monster on the top side of the rear wing. And there's a sponsor on the glare shield over the front windshield. And that's about it. Otherwise, I just use ge geometric shaped decals to create a flaming pattern on him. That looks a little bit menacing, which might company the ability of him to gain some respect on the track. His native color is brown. Yes, the roof is brown. The rear trunk is brown. And there's a little bit of brown around the windows. And on the front of the car. I'm not going to be talking over this complete video. This car takes damage a little different than other cars. You'll notice there's a damage symbol of wheels and drive train up in the top right corner thereabouts, not right in the corner. It will display various colors from white to, to warm reds, uh, yellows and oranges to dark red, indicating the full damage for that component. But there's also some damage to the bodywork. You notice the driver's side near the bumper area, just above the bumper, there's a black, little black <coughs> bit there. I do believe we've taken some body damage to the car. You might be able to see a little bit around the corner of the car as we a little bit of slide around that corner. Yes, um, instead of being like an accordion where the damage extends all the way from the front bumper to the rear bumper in most of your cars in this game. Our um, Mission Xenon RS, is it RX or RS? Here. Yes, you probably don't recognize it in the different library, library here. Takes dan bodywork damage a little different than most cars in the game. It show presents as black on the body and a lot of crinkles and holes in the bodywork, which you'll see a little better because I'm going to do a replay of this race in the spin mode, so you'll see the sides of the car. And I'm not going to be talking over this whole race. Maybe I should let you just enjoy it without me talking over it. And you can take in some of what I've done with the graphics of the car. Or, maybe you have stage 13 in Rallycross. Or maybe even the other competitors if I get anywhere near them. So here we are for my race time. Not anywhere near my record, I probably used a different car to get my record. This car is not great being so heavy, so how about we take a look at replay, replay in spin mode. Spin camera. And there we have it. Mr. Brown Monster. You see him out in the track, give him a little bit of respect, please. He's got a lot of weight for him. And he's got no number that will identify. And he has a lot of 
license plates in Canada. a little crumpled. Fortunately, there's not a whole lot of detail in this graphics that came up for this car, so it doesn't look too disturbed at least. I heard the holes in the body recognition that came the mess out of it. Yes, I decided to post this video to uh, warn you about Mr. Brown Monster. You see him on the track. Give him a little bit of respect. He's a heavy car and he can go And you might notice the motif is there's a lot of brown and oh you probably noticed these sort of flaming like symbols on the hood and the sides. Yes, I had a little bit of fun with this car. So that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And show you some potential of what you can do with your car.